Welcome back to Virginia This Morning Live. COVID-19 has caused the cancellation of planned summer camps, internships, and job opportunities. Students aren't able to find their passion or cultivate career development goals without experience or exposure. Recently, our very own Andrea Swipe Murdoch spoke with an expert who shares her advice. Many students use their summer vacation to take advantage of internships, summer camps, and opportunities to prepare for college. This summer will be a little bit different for most, but we have Neha Gupta of College Shortcuts here to make sure that we're prepared for the future. Hi, Neha. Hi, how are you doing? I am doing well and excited. Uh, I don't know if you know this about me, but I worked in college admissions for about five years at the start of my career. And I know how important it is for students to really take advantage of these opportunities and also how difficult it may be this summer to find those things virtually outside of the, the assistance of maybe their teachers and guidance counselors at school. So as we look at the process of virtually connecting, what do you suggest? Well, one of the things that I feel is that students need to focus on their career development, finding their passion, and learning early on what are the fields they're interested in. And so with the click of a button, we now have availability online to really get the access that we need way more than ever before. You know, at College Shortcuts, what we decided to do was we actually created these virtual summer camps. And the reason why is because we're seeing every student's internship got canceled. Most summer camps in person at universities are canceled. And so students are left high and dry right now where they're sitting at home and they're not sure what to do. And so what we did was we actually contacted our network and we found so many people that wanted to talk with teens and mentor them. So we've created things like pre-law, pre-medicine, pre-engineering, pre-computer science, Python coding, and so forth, so that every student, depending on what their interests are, can actually have access to five different experts in their field in that specific area. And what we've done is we wanted to make sure to connect these teens to listen and ask questions uh, where they normally may not get access to these types of people. Many of these people don't normally involve uh, teens in internships. They don't have that type of position. But we found at College Shortcuts, one of the most important things to figure out what you want to do is to hear from people that are already doing it. So we believe that virtual summer camps can be utilized properly in the admissions process to stand out, but also overarching making sure our kids know what they want to do when they grow up, regardless of what's going on in the world. So what I'm hearing you saying is that we really have a blessing in disguise. We're able to reach so many more people virtually than you might be able to in one summer's time. Uh, and your camps are allowing people to do that. Absolutely. Now, I mean, you what kind of extracurricular activities, in addition to maybe something that would be more of an internship format, do you suggest that students take advantage of while they have this virtual opportunity? I definitely recommend that they do look into things like Python coding camp or different activities that are related to the fields they're interested in. And there are many people that are starting these types of um, collaborations and communities online, whether it's Minecraft or STEM related things. There's a lot of different camps online that can help students to fill their time with something they enjoy and love and learn the skills they need for the future. That's great and, and so critical because those, that time that you spend only gives you a leg up, a little bit more information, a different comfort level going into a college environment where you can multitask but also take advantage of these kind of formalized experiences that will only help you when internships kind of return to a more normal format. Now, as you know, you know, things have changed a little bit on the college admission side as well. What are you seeing right now and what do new deadlines look like? Like. Yeah, so applications are opening August 1st. They have not updated uh, those dates to be changing anytime soon, and they won't be. They are looking for the students that are going to use their time effectively this summer, that are still making the most of their time. And of course, there is going to be an understanding of whatever is going on in that student's life. But at the same time, lots of schools were canceled. Lots of GPAs will not be counted to the level they normally would. The SAT, ACT right now, many, many schools are going
ongoing test optional. And so therefore, this year, more than ever before, the essay and the activities on the resume are going to matter more than ever. So parents really need to ensure they have the right outside help in making sure those essays are written well, they find the right topics to write about, and they don't write about the topics they shouldn't write about because a lot of times students need that extra effort and that extra one-on-one -on -one attention to get the best writing out of them. Absolutely. And this is so critical as there are so many students who may have some anxieties related to the college application process in a normal year, but especially now when they may not have been able to do college visits, they may not have been able to go to open houses. And so services like yours are really going to be critical in guiding students on the path to success, both for those who might be underclassmen as well as those who are going to be preparing for college next year. And we so thank you for the work that you're doing in that realm. Absolutely. Our view as well is that, you know, if you can't visit a college and you're wanting to make this decision, getting an outside person who's an expert at this can help you curate the right college list based on your child's interests and personality and then help them through this process. Most parents don't realize they're going to be investing, you know, just as much or close to what their home is into their kids' education. These are large purchases. So having a consultant by your side, especially during this time, to get the most scholarships, to get the most um, out of the admissions process and really stand out is crucial, I would say, now than ever in the history of admissions. Absolutely true. And thank you so much for being with us today. Absolutely. Thank you. We're going to be posting more information about college shortcuts and the very many services that they're offering to help your student navigate the college search process on our website, wtvr.com slash btm.